They say where Dandelion is. Yes, but... This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. Sorry, I just kind of jumped into this one. Um, this is Satori here his, of Swords and Dumplings is his quest. And I sort of started this one actually way back in the episode when I explored Novigrad first. He's trying to get back into blacksmithing so he can make swords for Geralt. But, you know, quest line and all. And it won't even be completed in this episode. You were to come alone, elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Uh, fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? <sighs> 35's as low as we'll go. Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should... You should go home, Elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, tin boy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Geralt is very, uh, well, mercenary or something. Because he always has little in the way of difficulty in dealing with and working with criminal underground. Case in point, well, look at what we're doing here. Now, he's fighting... Cleaver's men at the moment. Now, Cleaver was actually the group of dwarves that he was fighting alongside earlier. And we see this happen several times throughout this game where in a certain quest line, like, say, uh, Return to Crookback Bog, we are fighting on the side of the Witch Hunters. But, you know, for the bulk of the game, we're actually fighting against the Witch Hunters. But it suited his interest to work with them at the time, so he went and did that. Now, you'd think that would eventually come back and bite him on the ass, you know, uh, going and taking whichever side that he felt like or would suit his interests and all that kind of stuff, and he would sort of get a reputation as being somebody who just stabbed everyone in the back. But it seems to work out for him, so whatever. Turns out this quest was probably, uh, let's just say, uh little bit too difficult. The skulls over top of the bandit's heads are indication that they're too powerful for you to really make a uh, be a good idea to try fighting them. So I actually took like three tries in this quest in order to eventually win. So <laughs> it took me a long time. In fact, I'm probably going to end up speeding up the video just to get through this. Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. 
I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, tin boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Of course he's bailed. Ah, the things you gotta go through to get some good weapons in this damn game. You can actually find some pretty good weapons just out and about. You just dive into whatever cave or whatever you happen to stumble across, and you can tend to run across some pretty good stuff. But if you want the really high-quality things, the really high-quality weapons, you have to have them crafted. And there are very few craftsmen capable of doing that. In fact, Hitori here is the only one in the base game that can do the really high-level stuff. Tori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. I done. Geralt, you must help me. No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely. You must find me a bodyguard. Geralt, I beg you, they'll kill me. What? Where am I supposed to find you a bodyguard? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Ah, the things you gotta jump through to get a good weapon made in this game. Alright, so he's spooked. He'll go and he'll make our shit for us, but we gotta get some protection for him. Geralt's, of course, not going to hang around and just be a bodyguard all the time. He's on the move. He's gotta go do some shit. So... Gotta go get him a bodyguard. Yes, I should interject. <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? Oh, so we need to beat the shit out of Sucrus, too. Now, the fact that he's uh, still over-leveled for us is a problem, but, you know, he's not going to be as difficult because in these boxing matches, these enemies are a little bit easier to predict their movements and their attacks. And the fact that you may or may not have uh, underpowered weapons isn't a factor because you're just you're just fighting with your fists. So, the fight's easier. Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sucrus. You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. What brings you here, Garrett? You and the merchant. What was that about? Uh, why my sis wedded that plough and rotter is beyond me. 
That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet talk made first. Skellig and mead, we need barrels, we'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, mate. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to barter. Favor for a favor, aren't we? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? My brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. Was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay. But it's fair. Ah, the never-ending chain of problems. I need you to do this, but to do this, you need to talk to this guy. This guy will help you, but you need to do this for him. It just keeps going and going. Okay. Well, he's right out here. Uh, help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Because we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well... How long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Farewell. That really didn't have anything to do with this quest. That just us getting the Skellige, which I'm not going to do yet. Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get. Mr. Sucrus, the man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes. I'm on my way. Alright, well we took care of that problem. That was easy enough. We didn't have to beat the hell out of him or anything like that. And he didn't send us on any kind of a quest on our, uh... Any kind of a quest complete for him before he paid the other guy. And then we could take that back to the other guy. And then the dude will go make us some swords. Uh, that was... Wasn't as bad. Alright. Let's go back to the bar. Greetings. Hi, hi, Garrett. How you doing? Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. 
I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. There is a similar quest that you have to complete in order to gain access to a high level armor crafter, which is over at Crow's Perch. I'm pretty sure I've spoken there already, although I'm not sure if I did that while the gameplay was recording or I edited it into any of the episodes. But I've started that quest as well, and if I, if I end up doing it, I'll probably make an episode out of that, because it is kind of funny, that one. Greetings, Hattori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could... borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Of course he needs something else, you asshole. We know all we need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might.